What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to grab movie information from the API. We'll be making use of Laravel 7's HTTP client. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing to do is get an API key. So head over to the movie database website and it is free, but you have to fill out a lot of information. And initially I thought the process was approved manually by a person but it's actually automated and is pretty much instantaneous after you fill out all the information. So after you do, just press API here and you'll see an API key and an API token. So you can either use the key or the token. So if you use the key, you have to use it as a query string parameter. If you use the token, you can use it as a bare token in the header. So I like using the token as it feels more secure to me. So I'm not going to go into it here because I don't want to show you my API key, but just click API here and you'll see your keys. So let's go into the documentation and there is a documentation site here and let's try one in our REST client. So for our app, there's one for popular movies. So there's an endpoint for that. If you go down here, down to movies and get popular. Where is it? Right here. And it's slash movie slash popular. So if you go into my REST client here, I have that here. You can see the endpoint here. So it's this endpoint slash three for version three and then movie, movie popular. And then make sure to add your bear token here. And then let me show you an incorrect bear token. Okay. But if you put in your correct one, that should work. Awesome. So here's all the information coming back. You'll see there's 10,000 results and there's also pagination here, but we only need whatever our design shows. Uh, what do we have like 10 in our design? Yeah, we have 10. So we only need 10. So let's go ahead and set this up in our Laravel app. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a controller. So instead of using route view here, I'm actually going to make a controller. So PHP artisan make controller. Let's call it movies controller and let's make it resourceful. Okay. And let's move this into there. So route get, so this would be slash and this will be movies controller and this will be movies dot index. And let's do the same for the show method. So it's going to be, let's do movies slash movie. And it's going to be the show route or the show method and it's called movies.show. Okay. And we can get rid of these and let's go into that controller and let's add it here. So let's just return the view for now and that should still work. I called it index and we're going to pass in some data here, but let's just make sure it still works. Okay. So let's go ahead and make use of the HTTP client. So let's make a new var variable here called popular movies. We want to grab the popular movies. So we just use this HTTP facade and it's a get request to that endpoint. So API the movie DB org slash three slash movie slash popular. And we want the JSON results. So let me just put this on this new line and say JSON. Okay. And let's just die and dump that. See what we get. So we're not passing in the bear token. So we should get some show, some sort of error. Okay. Let's try this out. Oh, I have to import the facade. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. It says invalid API key, which is correct. So let's pass that in. There is a method we can chain on here called with token, and that will pass in the bear token as a header. And we can put it in here, but it's probably a good idea to store it in, in an environment variable. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me just put this on its own line and I'm going to put it in a config variable first. And from there, we'll put it in a environment variable. So services dot TMDB for the movie database and let's name it token. 
And we can also store like the base URL, like in Axios there. So this would be the base URL, but I'm just going to hard code it just for clarity. So let's go to config services and let's add one for TMDB. Let's just duplicate this TMDB and one for token. That's all I need. And let's say TMDB token. So let's add this in our environment file. Right here. And I am going to paste in my token, but I won't show you that. Okay, so I pasted it in. And now let's see if we're getting anything here. And we are cool. So you can see there is a results array here, which is what we're looking for. And here are all the movies. So each array is movie information here. So I want the results key here. So let's just grab it directly. Okay. And instead of dying and dumping, I'm just going to dump just so it continues and I can see what I'm doing here. Cool. So now we just want to loop over these and render them in popular movies over here. And we only want 10 movies here because that's what our design has. Or maybe I'll just keep all 20. 20 doesn't seem too bad. Or yeah, there's 0 to 19, so there's 20. Okay, so let's pass that in to our view here. So right here, say popular movies is popular movies. Okay. And in our index blade, let's loop over them. So index.blade. And we have to find where the popular movies are. And it would be all of these. So I have 10 of these, so I don't need these anymore. So I'm just going to delete the rest of the nine because we're going to loop over them. So I believe that's them. So let me delete that. There should be one left. Okay. And now let's loop over it. So we're looping over this whole MT8 div. So let's do for each popular movies as popular movie. And let's just move everything in there. So that would be all of this. Let me just move this up and indent it. Cool. And now we should get 20 movies, even though I didn't do anything, but it's looping over the entire array. So five, 10, 15, 20. Cool. Or if you want to just grab 10, you can turn this into a collection and just take 10 if you want. It's up to you. I'll just leave all 20 in there. So now we can just start filling out this information. So the title here will correspond to, so each one of these will be a popular movie. And there is a title field here. So let's go ahead and change it. So it'll be popular movie title. And we have to make use of the array syntax. So usually if this were a eloquent model, I would do the arrow syntax and say title, but that's not going to work since it's not an eloquent model. So we need to use the array syntax title. Let's see if that works. Oops, popular movies. Popular movie, sorry, movie, movie, yeah, sorry. Actually, I'm just gonna change it to movie. It's easier to read. Okay, there we go. Now the titles are in place. Sorry, that's the bottom one up here. Yep, cool. Let's take a look at the rating and the release date. What fields are there? there for that. So there is a rating right here. So vote average. And then we just have to multiply that by 10. And there is a release date here, which we can use carbon to format that date. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's replace the rating here. So we have movie 
default average. And we want to multiply that by 10. And add the percent sign. Okay. Okay. And the release date is right here. And I'm just going to make use of carbon inline. So let's do slash carbon slash carbon parse. We want to parse movie release date. And we want to format that to month day and year. Okay. So if this is too messy for you, if you don't like this in the view, then you can extract this to a helper method. And I usually do do that. But to start, I just leave it in here. And then when I start repeating myself, or if I feel it's messy, then I extract it to a method. Okay, looks good. Now for the image. So there's some stuff we have to look into in the documentation about the images. So it's not this page. I think it's in here. So if you go into getting started, there's a section here for images. And you'll see, actually, let me show you this first. So if you look at the stuff coming back, you'll see there is a section here for the poster path, which is the file name, which is half of what we want, but there are different sizes. So for the different sizes, you have to grab the different sizes available in this configuration endpoint. So let me just show you that. Let me go to my API. Sorry, my REST client, my REST client I mean. And if we hit the config endpoint, which you'll see here, then you'll see the poster sizes for the images. So I'm going to choose with 500. And here is the endpoint here. And you can replace this with the different sizes here if you need bigger or smaller images. So it's already with 500 in here. So I'm going to grab this whole thing. And let's go ahead and paste this into our code. So instead of this, we'll paste that in. And instead of this, this is going to be the poster path. So we can do dot movie and poster path. Okay. And let's change this to poster. And let's see if this works. Back to our app. Refresh. And looks good. Cool. There are all the images. Okay, now let's take a look at the genre genres here. So if you look at what's coming back, there is an array for genres, but it's only the IDs. So you see the five genres, and these are the IDs for each genre. And there's another genre endpoint we can hit with IDs and the actual name of the genre. So I kind of wish they just put it in here. I mean, the name as well, so I don't have to go through that entire process. But that's just how it is with REST APIs. And that's the advantage of using GraphQL. So let's do this quickly. So if you go in here, I believe there is a genres endpoint right here. And it's just genre movie list. And this will just return all the genres. So do I have this in my REST API? So let me just make a new one here. So movie genres, let me just duplicate this. Movies, genres. Okay. And what was it? Genre movie list. Genre movie list. Okay. And you'll see that it's not even a big list. So we can just grab this locally and then compare it against the genre IDs. So let me show you what I mean. So let's go back to our movies controller here and let's pull down that entire list of genres. So I'm going to name that genres array. Actually, let me just copy this or duplicate this. Okay. And let's call it genres array. And then what's it called? Or oh, what's the endpoint? Genre movie list. Genre 
movie list and what was the key let me check so it's a key of genres instead of results and this is just an array of all the, the genres so this will be genres so let me just dump this this is basically what you see in it the response in my rest client so genres array so i don't need this anymore okay let's refresh this and like i said you'll see what we have in our rest clients so we just have ids and names for all the genres so this is every single genre so what i want is just an array with the keys of the ids so instead of the standard indexes or indices i want the indices mapping to each id so the first one would be 28 the second one would be 12 and so on and then i can just reference these ids with the genre ids that are coming back from the popular movies array so i hope that makes sense so the first step like i said i just want these ids to be the key so let's go ahead and do that first so i'm going to make another array here it's going to be a Laravel collection because I want to make use of one of its methods so I'm going to collect it genres array and I want to use the map with keys method and that does exactly what I just showed you I just want to grab a field and make that the key so let's grab the genre and let's do this okay and i want the key to be let's put this in an array so the key is going to be genre id and the value is going to be the name okay so now if i dump that And you'll see what I'm trying to do here, genres. So now we should have an array with the key of the ID and then the value of the name of that genre. And now you see we're getting a collection back and our collection is exactly what we want. Cool. So we can just pass that in. Like I said, it's not a big list, so it should be okay performance wise. So let's just pass that in. Genres. Okay. And I'm going to dump the popular movies again just to see what we're working with. And now let's go back to our view here. So index blade. And where is that? For, okay, right here. Let's just loop over the genre IDs for now. So this not this let me refresh this so this the genre ids here so for each movie genre id genre ids sorry as genre then let's just dump out the id And that should just be a list of IDs here, right here. And that's what we want. But since we passed in those genres, then we can just do this. So genres get genre. So yeah, so much work just to get the genre displayed here correctly. So that's when GraphQL is more useful or if they just included it in the response and there it is so you want to add some commas there so let's do that so i'm going to put an if statement here because we only want the commas if it's not the last iteration so let's do if and the condition is not loop last so if we're not on the last iteration of the loop then add a comma i'm just going to put it in line here and let's try not to put spaces here and that should do it. And I have an error. What's my error? 
I forgot the dollar sign here. Okay. And you can see the commas there. And there seems to be an extra space, so I'll just get rid of this space here. Save that, and that should do it. Cool. Okay, now let's work on the next section here. So the now playing section. And it's pretty much going to be the same as this, but we just have to get the info for this now playing endpoint. So if you look at the database, go back to movies, there is a endpoint for now playing. So it's just movie now playing. So we can go back to our controller and grab that as well. So let's grab now playing movies. Now playing movies. And that would be movie slash now playing. Okay. And I believe the key is results as well. And it's passed that into now playing movies now playing movies and let's dump that out here now playing movies okay let's see what we get and it's pretty much the same thing but now we have information for now playing movies if you look up here and you'll see information for now playing movies so we just have to do the same thing we did for the view and replace everything in here. Everything in now playing movies. So let me just get rid of the rest of these nine hard coded ones because we are going to going to loop over them just like we did with the other section. So that would be this, I believe. And I think I deleted too many. Okay. So there should only be one now. Cool. So now these two look pretty much the same. So if I did what I did here, I would just be repeating code. So what we can do here is either use a blade partial, which has been available for a long time in blade. So we would do something like include partials dot movie card or something like that. And then we can even pass in data like this. And that still works, like I said, but I would like to make use of blade components, which is a new in Laravel seven. So it's up to you what you want to use. So I am going to do PHP artisan. And I believe it's called make control, not controller, make component, I believe. Yeah right here and let's call it the movie card so php artisan make component movie card okay and that gives us two things it gives us a new components folder in our views folder and we have this movie card and it also gives us a class so app http view and components, and we have this movie card as well. So this sort of acts like the controller specific to this component. So this is where you would pass in data. And then here is where you would render the view. So if you had a simple component that didn't need, need data, then you wouldn't need this class at all. You can just use the view file it generates, but we do have data we need to pass in, so we can pass it in in this class. So let's go back to our index view and let's get rid of all of this. So let me just cut this and we're going to put this in our component. Actually, let me just show you the syntax first. So we can just do X dash name of the component and you can pass in data as well. But for now, I won't pass in any data. And now we can go to that component. Where is it? Movie card right here. And it will render this out. So let's just say hello from component. Okay. And it says refresh this. And you can see the component rendering out here. Okay, so let's paste in what we copied. And let me just 
reinvent this. Okay, let's go back to our index. And I'm going to pass in the data we need here. So we need the movie. So to pass in data, it's similar to how you do it in view. So we do movie. But for variables, we can just do dollar sign movie. And we also need the genres that we passed in. So that would be colon genres and genres. Okay. And now for our movie card, we can pass in the data here. So we want to accept a movie and genres. And let's make public properties here. And just like several components in Laravel, if you make a public property, then it will be available in the view. So let's go ahead and add movie and let's add genres. And let's accept them in the constructor here. And that should be all. So this movie is movie. And this genres is genres. Okay, so if I did everything correctly, this should still work. But now we have a component. Okay, so everything still looks the same. And now we can reuse that component in our now playing movies. So we just have to grab this and pass in the same thing. And just loop over now playing movies instead of popular movies. So let's do that. So where is it? Here. Yeah, we don't need this actually because we extracted it to a component. Let me paste that component in and let's grab the for each up here and just change, change that. So if it feels like I'm editing a lot, it's because my computer is really slow for some reason. Like when I re refresh my page, it takes forever to reload. So I'm just editing it out how long it takes. So sorry for that if it feels like it's over edited. So this would be now playing movies. And that should do it. Our now playing movies should work. And now we've extracted it to a blade component. Okay. And as you see, our now playing movies still works as well. Cool. Okay, now let's work on the show view. So I'm going to click on this and I wanted to show the details page. So let's go do that. So let's go into our movie card. Actually, do I have a route for that? So movies, movie, movies, controller, show. So let's go ahead and return the view here. Return view show and let's go back to our component here and we have to add it in two places so i have the image that's a link and i have the title that's a link so let's do multiple cursors here and let's make a route helper and that's movies dot show and the parameter here is going to be movie i believe there is a path or a id sorry not path an id yeah, so that's what we're going to be using. So movie ID. Oops. And that should go to it when we click it. Sorry, this should be a string. Okay. So if you click it, that should go to a uh, details page. Okay, so that would be show blade. And this is huge. I think I have a typo here and I do it should be a space. Okay. So let's just pass in. Actually, we have to grab the movie details. So we'll go back to movies and it's just details. So movie slash movie ID is the endpoint. So let's go back to our movies controller. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Just do this. And just do movie. So let's just name this movie and it's going to be slash movie slash ID. So the ID is coming in the query string. Just do ID and there is no key here. Just result. It just returns the array of results or array of keys that we need. So that's fine. And let's do what we did before and just dump the movie. Okay. 
and let's pass that in here. So movie, movie, movie is movie. Oops. Okay. Cool. And let's see what we get here. Okay. And we can just start replacing this with this information up here. So let's start with the image. So the image is going to be pretty much the same as what we have in here. So let me just grab that. Where is it? Right here. Okay. Go back to show and it's replaced that. Okay. See if that works. And I think I spelled that wrong in my controller. I did. Try again. Okay, there's the image. Let's change the title. So this would be movie title. Movie title. And these are pretty much the same as what we have in the components. So let's grab the vote average or the rating. Let's put that in here, right here. And then we have the release date. Let's grab that and put that in here. And we have the genres. Now for the genres, I believe they do come back for the details page as the name. So we can just loop over that. So let's do that. Actually, let me grab what I have in there and just change it because we have all this comma stuff as well. So this, back to show, and let's change this. Now it's just movie genres. We have that as a key and we can just do genre name here. Genre name. Okay. And that should work. Awesome. And this is the movie overview. So right here, so let's add that. So right here, let's just change this to movie overview. Overview, okay. And for this featured crew section, let me just show you. There's no information for that in this endpoint, but there is another endpoint. So if you look at the get credits endpoint, this will return the cast here. So the cast and the crew, and we need the cast for the next section of actors as well. So this section underneath, so let's grab that. So we can make another request to this endpoint with the movie ID, but we can also sort of make a join here with our original endpoint. If you look at this append to response section, we can just add the append to response key, I mean query string, and then add the model we want to join. So in this case, we want the cast, sorry, the credits, and you can do multiple as well. So let's do that. So append to res response. So in our API call here in the movies controller, let's append that. So we're going to do end and and it's going to be cast in our case. And now let me save this too. If I refresh this, you'll see we'll have a new section here called cast and we can just grab that information as needed. Sorry, that didn't work because the query string should be a question mark and it should be an ampersand for other query string variables. So let's try it again. Sorry, again, that should be credits. 
And while I'm here, I'm just going to append the other ones too that we need. So videos is needed for that trailer URL and images is needed for the images. So now credits, videos, and images should appear here when I refresh the page. And there it is. Cool. Credits, videos, and images. So for credits, we can use that for this section because the credits includes the crew and the cast. So for this section right here, I'm just going to grab the first two and you'll see the different sections for them. So you'll see the department and the name or job, whatever you want to use. So let's go ahead and do that. So go back to show. So these are the two things we're looping over and we only want to show two of them. So let's do that. Actually, let me just delete this one. Okay. And I'm going to put the margin right on this one instead. Margin right of eight. And let's add the for each here. So it's going to be movies and the key is credits. And those credits have crew. And save that as crew. And we can move this in there. So let's put that in there. Okay. And we only want two of them. So let's do this. We can do if we can do the loop index. If it's, if it's less than two, then we can just put that in there. So it will only show two results, which is what we want. And we just have to hope that the API shows the two most relevant results. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, we have to change this. So this will be crew name. This will be crew job. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, we have an error. That should be movie. Okay. Okay, and now you see the featured crew here. Cool. Okay, now let's work on this play trailer button. And I just want this to play the trailer on YouTube. So if you look at the videos array coming back, you'll see that there is some results. And if you go through them, you'll see an ID for a YouTube video here. So we can just link off to that YouTube video. So if you go back here, where's that button right here? I'm going to change this to an anchor tag. So let's go change that, change this as well. And let's make this an href equals, so it's going to be HTTPS YouTube dot com slash watch question mark V equals and we can just grab the movie and videos results and let's grab the first one and there is a key called key there okay and some movies don't have this, so we have to check if it's null or not. So again, sorry if this looks really laggy. I'm trying to bear, I'm just trying to finish this video because my computer is really struggling right now. So videos, results. So let's just check if this is greater than zero. So if there are results, then we can just grab this. And if there isn't any results, then don't render anything. Okay. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up because my computer takes like 30 seconds to refresh this page. Okay. And that looks screwed up, but let's see if there is a video. And you see in the bottom right, there is a video and that just links off to the YouTube video. Cool. So I'm not going to wait for that to load. I have confidence that that works. 
again my computer is not performing really well right now let's just indent this and let me change this to inline flex so it's inline okay cool so for the cast here similar to what we did here where we only wanted two results we can do the same thing for the cast here and if you look up here you'll see we can loop over the cast in here and there's 18 results for this but we only want the first five so let's quickly do that so the cast would be right here anything we want to loop over is this so let's quickly do that for each so i'm just going to grab what we did up here with the crew but now we want movie credits cast as cast right here cast this is cast and we can move this in there so let's just move that in okay move it up and then get rid of this and I'm going to start pasting stuff in because I can't type anymore. My computer is way too slow. So this is pretty much what we did for all the other images. It's just a different size and the cast profile path is the image of that actor. This is just going to be cast name and this is going to be cast character. So let's do that. Cast. And for this, it's going to be cast character. Cast character okay fresh that okay and we only want five so we can do that same trick we did up there where we check the loop index so let's just do oops if loop index is less than five so that will only show five actually this should go in here inside the for each like this and we can end the if here just indent this and send that this okay see if there's only five now okay and there is this is just a hard-coded one so let me get rid of that okay so let's delete that and now there should be only five And currently this doesn't go to anything yet. Maybe in the future we'll add an actors page as well. And the last thing I want to do is the images here. So if you look up here, we have an images and we want to make use of the backdrops and we just want to loop over these and display them there. So let's do that. So these are the hard coded images. So I only need one. So let's get rid of all these. And again, sorry about this. I'm just going to paste stuff in because I just want to finish this video because my computer is a piece of crap. Okay. So again, same thing. We're just checking the loop index because we only want to display nine in this case. And here is the thing we're looping over. You can see that in the response in the API and end for each. And for the image, let me just paste that in as well. It's pretty much the same thing as what we did above. And I think you understand what I'm trying to do here. And let's see if this works. And there we go. We have nine images showing here. So now we just have to clean up, get rid of these dumps. Sorry, movies control, movies controller get rid of this I'll just leave it in there let's comment it out and that's the index right yeah we have to get rid of it for show as well and uh, that should be all for this video we successfully pulled from the movie database API and brought in the information for all the movies here so if we go back to the index actually we should link these two so let's link that up in our main.blade 
let's just do route movies dot index and let's do the same for the movies title as well it's right here route movies dot index okay and now these two should link to the main page so if I click this we should go back to the index page and there is the list of movies we're pulling from the API we have popular movies and we have now playing movies as well so everything is looking good in the next video we'll take a look at testing the API to make sure everything works hopefully my computer is not acting up in that video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one okay thanks bye